My name is Jana Reeves. I'm a member of the Freedom Munitions Pro Staff and I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you today about the spinner target. This is a target that we see a lot in the type of competition that I shoot, uh, usually three gun. Um, depending on the match and the stage description, you can shoot this with either rifle, pistol, or shotgun. So I'm going to talk to you about the technique for all three of them. It's a target that people get really intimidated by or get really nervous about or build it up to be this, this scary thing, but it's not any more difficult than any of the other targets that we shoot. It's, it's a, just a matter of technique. Uh, there are some important factors to the technique, most important being timing. Uh, your choke selection with your shotgun is also very important, and the ammunition that you use plays a factor in this too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and talk to you about some of the basic strategy for shooting it. You can start at the top or the bottom. I usually prefer to start at the bottom. There are different ways of thinking for, for both, but I just we'll just leave it at I start at the bottom. Uh, once you shoot the bottom, obviously it's going to you know cause it to go back like that. Probably not that much. And then the top, you know, you're going to transition up to the top, and that's going to swing back this way. So you're going to back and forth, top to bottom, um, until it flips 360. Uh, one of the one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is waiting to shoot this, um, kind of not being patient or or shooting it too soon or too too late. Um, but a lot of people wait until it gets vertical to pull the trigger and by the time the, the bullet or your shot gets there, it's, it's back like this and you're going to shed most of your energy off of the target. So you want to shoot it, you're going to pull your trigger when it's about right here. So ideally then you're going to reach it when it's you know here or vertical and you're going to get the maximum amount of energy delivered on the target. I moved the camera over to another angle so maybe you can get a better uh, view of, of when to pull the trigger. So again, you don't want to pull the trigger when it's vertical but more so when it's like this. And we're talking about shooting the top right now. For the bottom, when it's like this. And yeah, that's about when you pull the trigger, rather than vertical. A couple of the most common pitfalls that I see uh, people when they're shooting the spinner target, and, and myself included when I first started shooting these things, uh, first of all would be you know the, the shooting it, waiting too late to shoot it, which we already kind of covered, waiting till it's vertical, and then you know not getting a good hit on the target. Another would be, um, hitting the arms. I see a lot of people, they think they're hitting the target, but they're hitting the arms. So effectively, you're still hitting the target, but it's not moving as much as it could be if you hit the plate itself. So make sure that you're getting your sight on the target and that you're getting a good hit on the, the circular part of the target. Make sure that you kind of pay attention to the target and the way that it's swinging because a lot of times I'll see people get a little confused and you know that the, the top's coming over and you should be shooting the bottom and they shoot the top instead and just stop the target. And, and kill their momentum. So make sure you're you're aware of which way the target's swinging. And again, if you get lost, just go to the top or the bottom and wait for it. If you get a chance to mess with one of these things, um, even if you haven't got a chance to shoot it, like if you're at a match and you're walking stages and you've never seen one before, go up to it and you know just kind of get an idea for the way that it swings and the motion. And you kind of want to know too if the target is well oiled or if it's super sticky because. Some, some matches, they're a little rusty and they don't quite swing the way you want them to, so it's a good idea to see how heavy your target is, and um, that can help you with choke selection and ammo selection and stuff like that. I'm using my standard ammunition right now, which is a um, seven and a half shot ounce and an eighth, about 1,200 feet per second. I'm standing at 10 yards from the spinner. I'm gonna use a light mod choke. That would be my preferred choke at this distance. Uh, and, and improved cylinder would probably be fine too. Even a cylinder would probably spin at this distance, just may take a little bit longer or a little bit more ammunition. Um, but light mod would be my choice. So I'm going to shoot bottom first, top, bottom. Hopefully it'll go over in three. If not, I'll keep on shooting it. It went over in two that time. I usually expect about three shots at this distance, but if you get good solid hits right on the plates, um, that spinner is pretty well oiled. Um, and then I'm using the light mod choke, like I said. So make sure you get good solid hits, but if you if you looked carefully at the timing, you'll see that I shot it just like we talked about earlier, made sure that it wasn't vertical before I pulled the trigger. Um, and the timing was, was perfect on that, so it went over in two rounds. Okay, I'm going to shoot the spinner with my pistol now. I'm using the 124 grain hollow point new ammunition from Freedom Munitions. A lot of people always ask why we shoot hollow points. Uh, these are not defensive hollow points, they're not meant for expansion. Uh, they, are, they have greater accuracy over the round nose ammunition, so that's why we use them in competition. Again, you do have the option of double tapping or single tapping this target, especially with the pistol or the rifle. I'm just going to single tap it right now, just so you can get an idea, especially for the timing um, and when I'm going to shoot it. But if you, if you double tap it, obviously it's going to go a little bit faster if you hit it.
So as you can see, I was able to get it spin in, what was that, like six shots or something like that? Standing at 10 yards with my pistol. Again, I'm using the 124 grain ammunition. It's not a super hot ammo, it's pretty soft shooting. Um, so it's, it's not a target to be intimidated over or scared of. It's just a matter of getting good hits, getting the timing down, and just be patient and, and you know, don't, uh, you kind of stand there and you feel like you're taking forever because you're on the clock and you're trying to rush, but just be patient. You're not taking as long as you think. Getting your good hits, going one for one, and getting the timing right is the most important part.